everybody, it's me, Miss You, and now we're going to do questions three and questions four in our packet. Uh, hopefully, you started them or completed them. So let's start off. Just at this point, we know negative six is A, positive thirteen is B, and negative five is C. So let's call this A, B, and C. And we are going to write it in as six. 13 and negative 5. Okay, what are the factors of A and C? So in this case, we want to do 6 times negative 5, and that's negative 30. We want to find what are the factors of negative 30 that add up to 13. So let's start off by writing the factors of 30. We have 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. And there are no other factors because when we go to 6 times 5, it's the same. So that's where we stop. So um, we want to know which of them add up to 13. So let's take a look. And first of all, to multiply to negative 30 and add to positive 13, we know the bigger number should be positive. So this is going to be negative. This is going to be negative. This is going to be negative, And this is going to be negative. OK? Because we have a positive and a negative adding up to a positive number, that means the larger number is positive, okay? Uh, looking at our numbers, it's pretty clear that negative two plus 15 is equal to positive 13. So we're gonna write negative two and 15. Those are the factors, and now we're gonna put them here. It's negative two x and 15 x. For ax squared, we're going to go 6. So, oh, I called it x, but it's m. 6m squared negative 2m plus 15m minus 5. Okay. And these two numbers in the middle add up to 13m. Okay. We're now going to place in the boxes. 6m squared and negative 5. And then I have negative 2m, positive 15m. Remember, it does not matter which of these two um, positions you take. So now we're going to start by factoring out the column. Um, what they have in common, they both have an M in common, because don't forget, 6M squared is equal to 6 times M times M. Negative 2M is equal to negative 2 times M. What do they have in common? An M. What does negative 6, 6 and 2 have in common? It's a 2. So I'm going to pull out the two over here, OK? But looking at this column over here, what do we have in common? We have a 5, OK? Let's look at the rows. Of course, we want to multiply. So we get 6m. We know 6m squared and 15m. What do they have in common? Well, 15 is equal to 3 times 5. 6 is equal to 2 times 3. And the greatest common factor they have in common are the 3s. So we end up with a 3 
and an M because they both have M in common. And now let's just double check. 3M multiplied by 2M gives us 6M squared. 3M multiplied by 5 gives us 15M. Okay. What do these guys have in common? I think the only thing they have in common is a negative 1. Okay. So now that we just finished factoring this equation, we're going to write out the answer. It becomes 3m negative 1, 2m positive 5. So that is our answer. Let's look at the next one, question 4. Um, if you want, you could pause the video. Give it a try. Now, let's see what goes on. So I, the first three questions had major scaffolding. That's when you really break out how to do the question and we divide it into eight steps. Now we're gonna start off by combining steps. So first of all, I have A, B and C. We want to know A times C is equal to 10, B is equal to 11. So we want the factors of 10 that add to 11. Since everything's positive, I know my factors are going to be positive, and I could also tell by looking at it 10 times 1 when added up is equal to 11. So factors of 10 that add to 11 happen to be 10 and 1. X and X. Now we're going to put it in our table. Um, we're going to go 2X squared. That's the first term. The last term is 5. And I always say it does not matter where you put the 10X. It does not matter where you put the X or the 1X. Now we're going to pull out what these guys have in common. If this is x squared and this is x, we have 1x in common. Okay. What does 2 and 1 have in common? 1. We have x squared and x again. So we have 1x over here. Okay. What does 10x and 5 have in common? Of course, it's the number 5 because 10 is equal to 5 times 2, 5 is equal to 5 times 1. So they do have the 5 as a common factor. So we're going to pull this out over here. Um, I just realized we never finished the vertical column. So let's look at it. We pulled the x out. The other thing that we have is a 2. And over here, there's nothing in common, so we have a 1. Let's look at our table. I have 1x and 2x. It gives me 2x squared, 1x and 1. This is 10x, and that's 5. I end up with 2x plus 1, x plus 5. And that is... Question four.